I'm the Assistant Vice President with uh, Many Life and the Corporate and Divisional Law Groups. Um, prior to joining Many Life, I was a Corporate Securities Associate with Osler for a number of years. Uh, in my current role, I primarily support uh, corporate treasury initiatives globally for the organization and serve as a, a go-to capital markets and M&A lawyer in the company. Uh, the business groups I support are very busy. In the last two years alone, we've uh, served as lead counsel, raising about uh, almost $7 billion for the company. Um, I also support corporate development, uh, divisional compliance, global compliance, uh, our structured products group, and several other business units within Manulife uh, through my work with the divisional law group. I think the traits that I bring to the table, uh, which my business partners would value the most, would be uh, leadership in terms of executing transactions and in managing people. Uh, my capacity to, uh, I guess, get into the weeds and dig into a complex problem and, and render a firm decision even when we're potentially navigating our way through the uh, gray areas of a, of a, of a decision. Um, I think my technical expertise that I gained through uh, my training with Osler has been uh, something my business partners have told me they value greatly. Uh, but I think equally my ability to take off the technical lawyer hat and just think creatively about a problem from, from all sides of it uh, to arrive at a, at a solution that's most practical for the business, I think is something that's, that's most valued. Teamwork is an interesting concept with us. We're a very dynamic organization. So, um, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, I manage a fantastic team and, uh, and we're very aligned and, and I'd like to think certainly high performing. There's also teamwork though that comes into transactional work. We're, we're very uh, active in that as well. So I, I think a, a recent transaction that comes to mind, which best exemplifies uh, fantastic teamwork would be our uh, bot deal, $2 billion bot deal financing we closed last year in connection with our acquisition of Standard Life Canada, uh, which included a, a concurrent private placement to the case. So uh, as with any large transactions, by necessity, there was a very large cast of characters involved in that transaction. But I think what made it unique in this particular context from a, from a team perspective is that we were operating under very accelerated uh, deadlines and the particular security we were issuing was novel to manual if we hadn't issued it before. So there was no precedent really to work off internally. It, we were, it was kind of a blank slate. So. Um, you know, there, there was a lot of players. We had, we had, we had Tories as our financing council, Osler as our acquisition council, Blake's on for Standard Life, McCarthy's on for the underwriters, uh, the case. We had cases council Norton Rose. We had Debevoise on for our U.S. council, SNC on for their U.S. dealers. We had U.K. council. We had the lead underwriters, and we had a not so small army of Manulife people all involved in trying to execute uh, this transaction, uh, you know, in a very short period of time. I, I've been lucky in my career so far in, in life to have many great mentors. Um, I think the two best mentors I could have ever asked for uh, being my parents uh, certainly taught me by example great things like um, perseverance and character, integrity, uh, loyalty, and hard work. Um, professionally speaking, when, when I joined Ozer, I was lucky enough to uh, link up with fantastic lawyers like Clay Horner and Mark Delorier, Manny Pressman, Mark Trachuk, and, and they really taught me uh, what excellence in executing a transaction is all about and what it means to have a, a strong deal side manner and a, and a command of the room when you're with senior executives. Um, I think more recently coming in-house, I've had the opportunity to appreciate what excellent client service is all about through our work with uh, fantastic firms like Tories and Blake's and uh, Baskins and McCarthy's and the list goes on. I won't try and name every one of them. Growing up, my father was a minister and he dedicated uh, really all of his career to, to helping, helping the community. So um, from a very young age, I learned the importance of giving back and uh, helping those less fortunate. And uh, having seen his sacrifices and the time and, and efforts he put into that, um, you know, the challenge of following his footsteps is not lost on me and it's something I take quite seriously. So. Uh, although our family's philanthropic plan includes charitable donations and fundraising, uh, I truly believe to better the community, you need to kind of roll up your sleeves, get engaged and volunteer. Um, so recently I've joined the board of directors of the Agent Court Community Services Association, which is a great not-for-profit multi-service agency that helps the uh, under-serviced communities in the greater Scarborough area. They work with the homeless, they work with the food insecure, they work with empowering the youth. It's, it's really a fantastic organization. So I think as lawyers, we struggle to find time to do things like that, but it's so rewarding when you do engage and it's so important. Uh, if we want to improve our city, it's so important to, to engage and, and, and do things like that. And I'm certainly very dedicated to spending the rest of my career to helping agencies like AXA uh, achieve their objectives.